small little advice for me and you during Ramadan. Focusing on yourself more than focusing on others. There is a common social behavior and it's universal. It's not specific to one place or one culture or one you know, nationality or race of people. And that is uh, that sometimes we look beyond the self and we're, you know, uh, eager to criticize or complain about what a person says or does. I think it's important to really focus on self because sometimes you can just get caught up in worrying about other people's business. And I think that's one of the things that I do in the gym. That's why people have told me, why are you so angry? Why are you so rude? Why are you so serious? Um, it's because I block everybody out. When I'm in the gym, nobody else matters to me. I don't care how strong somebody is, how big their muscles are. I'm in there for me and me alone. I have no concern about anybody else when I'm working out in the gym. And unfortunately, since we're talking about training and fasting, the majority, significant majority of people around the world in the gyms that I've been to, most people have two things. Either they're self-conscious of others, meaning they feel a little shy or embarrassed, or they're overly concerned with what somebody's wearing, what what exercise they're doing, you know, whatever it may be, uh, everything that's outside of themselves. And uh, I think if we learn the lessons Allah has given us in the Quran, especially in this month of Ramadan when, you know, it's the habit of the Muslims to read the Quran and also pray these extra prayers and tarawih, I mean, we have countless reminders. The number one focus should be on self. Yes, we have to enjoy what is good and forbid what is bad as a community. Sure. But the main focus is on self. I think the the betterment of society starts with individuals. It's not with a collective thought, per se. It starts with an individual having individual commitment. Individual commitment to better oneself, to purify oneself. And when that person stays on that path and another member of the community, another individual becomes committed on the same uh, idea, that's how you heal a society. Focus on self. Don't worry about others. That's, that's the meat and potatoes of it. Focus on yourself. Pay less attention to others. Uh, in the gym, it's famous for me to say, because I see guys always try to coach before they know, and uh, coaching before you know is a big mistake. But anyway, I always say, what do the people on the airplane tell you when you're on the airplane? Put your oxygen on first. Meaning, focus on self. Focus on you before you focus on others. Peace. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ The believers are only those who, when Allah is mentioned, their hearts become fearful, and when His verses are recited to them, it increases them in faith, and upon their Lord they rely. الذين يقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون 
the ones who establish prayer, and from what we have provided them, they spend. Those are the believers, truly. For them are degrees of high position with their Lord and forgiveness and noble provision 